All right. So today we're going to go over uh, one of my favorite series from Side Control, the Far Side Razor. So this is something that Eric and Elliot both like a lot too. We're going to start from having the cross face position where I can use shoulder pressure. And if I don't already have an underhook, then I'll have to get it first. So we'll assume we're starting like this. So I start by turning my hand so that my pinky hits his carotid. And then I lower myself so that my shoulder's on his body, not his face. So that when I drive, I'm able to hit his neck in a way that makes him have to push to stop me. That makes it easy to move his arm out of the way and achieve an underhook. Now I can back up a little bit and get a pull and really commence this crushing this. All right, so from here, I want to try to keep the pressure as long as possible and make sure I don't lose this arm. If you're up here with your head up, he can put his arm on the other side of your head again, Sorry. and now you got to repeat it. So I don't want that to be possible. So once I get here, either hold it and pull it back more or grab your head. Once you're here, you walk your body up, and as you remove your arm, you push his head this way so that your hip drives in and he can't get his arms out. Keeping your head nice and low, this hand finds the elbow. And I typically, what I do is I drive my head that way when I'm here, instead of just pulling on his elbow. But what I try to do is drive and fall forward like this. Now I'm pushing at the end of the lever and I'll get the break there. You can finish it also like sitting back in this spot, but this is where you meet so much resistance from people bumping their hips and it kind of makes it difficult to control it. So I prefer to drive off of them a little bit. So shoulder pressure, drive get your pull you walk your body up you shift your hips when you remove this arm you're gonna move like that I like to replace it with my foot and then keep your head on the mat I, I'm not worried about getting rolled that way because my I'll stop with my head I just want to find his elbow here and you're gonna be able to get a nice pull even though you can sometimes do it with like this grip he can twist his arm like it's hard to get a good break here it's a lot more annoying if I twist his arm and I keep it in the position that I want it in. One more again. So you have to win the underhook first. You drive, you fight that, then you walk here, switch your hand, replace it, and move yourself off of him a little bit, trapping the end of his arm. Find his elbow and grip it and rip it. Okay. You guys got it? Let's get a shot. One, two, three. Your head. 